And there it is, guys. Champions League draw is out. The new format, no one knows quite how it works. But I can't lie, UEFA, you might have cooked. There are some big, big games, a lot of big games. And the way they've done it, you know, two, you face two teams from each country. It's done quite well. But Inter, once again, not an easy group. Every every time we talk about it, I don't know if it's a group of death or the league of death. It's not even like groups anymore. It's more like mini leagues they've created this year. It's another tough one. Another tough one, as you can see on screen. The pot one and two teams is uh, Leipzig and Manchester City away. Pot two. The one we all wanted last season, a lot of us wanted this Arsenal at home at the Meazza, but then Leverkusen away, Xabi Alonso's boys, and then Red Star Belgrade, Young Boys, Monaco, and Sparta Prague. So, split in two, really. Pot one and pot two, very, very tough teams. You know, that would be the group of death if you picked, you know, three teams out of those four. You've got a group of death there. Then pot three and four, I think we've got a good... I think Monaco would definitely pick maybe one of the harder pot four teams, maybe. But we're facing them at home. But then pot three, young boys away, Red Star Belgrade at home. I think that's very, very good. And then um, Sparta Prague away, that one might be a tough one, you know. So even though it's not, you know, a big team, but away in these, uh, in these kind of um, atmospheres can be always tricky, but... Man City, the Man City revenge. A lot of you wanted it. That the Pep Guardiola revenge for the final. Simone Inzaghi's tactical masterclass that didn't quite work out. Thanks to, you know, again, I'm still not blaming Lukaku, but you know, we know, you know, visually we still remember the Lukaku misses. But I still go against the grain on that one. That I don't blame Lukaku for the loss on that. But away at the Etihad is not. Probably the rematch we wanted, we probably wanted in a neutral ground or at least at home. Makes it tough. Uh, but at least we kick things off at home against Leipzig. And then home against Arsenal. That's a good one. Um, I fancy our chances. Let's see how, you know, again, they always, these games in the Champions League, it's about how, how informal are we when we get there. What are the injury issues? Are there any injury issues? How are Arsenal looking going into the... So, but right now, you know, fresh off the the draw, I saw it was Cristiano and Buffon and this new AI version of it being picked. I haven't watched the actual ceremony, but it looked like it was quick, much easier, much faster, less wasting time. And yeah, I'm looking forward to it. What do you guys make of it, man? Um, the game I'm looking forward to the most is definitely the English teams away at Man City, home against Arsenal. Let me see. I mean, I always say this, but it's always hard to get tickets for these games. But Man City, you know, their stadium's always half empty, so surely it's not impossible to get tickets for that game. Um, and then, yeah, Arsenal at home, that will be a tasty one. Um, Red Star Belgrade at home, that should be a fun one too, hopefully, and Monaco at home. Uh, yeah, so some fun home games and some tricky, tricky away fixtures uh, like the Leverkusen one and the Sparta one and the Man City one. So overall, I'm not too, I'm quite confident. I think, and uh, <clears throat> I looked at some statistics online, some Twitter accounts that said, some people that have played football manager already this season have said with a new style of format, it's in some statistical analysis, they've said you need probably about 15 to 16 points to get to get through so you know you, again it's the same as you know in the group stage you need to at least win majority of the games you know three wins out of four um in the previous format and you were through um you know you get nine points three wins and you and you're pretty much guaranteed to go through here probably you know six wins uh, is what you need uh five six wins at least this is some some statistics are saying, yeah, just if you want to get a sneak through in the top eight, because that's the that's the way you go through this year. You need to get into the top eight, and to get into top eight, you might even sneak through with 14, 15 points, you know, on the lower end. But again, I think to be on the safe side, you really need um, you really need a 16, probably at least, or even 18, maybe. Let's see how things pan out. 
Um, I'm having to use like two. It's so complicated because you know it's not in like four teams anymore. You have to remember eight teams now, so I need two phones to to go through it. But you know, if you can get a win in the first game at home against Leipzig, and let's say we budget for a draw or a loss away at Man City, let's say a draw home to Arsenal. You know, we're talking. Um, let's say that's four points. Maybe we can sneak a draw away at Leverkusen, that's five. And then at home, Red Star, eight points, win. Away, Young Boys, three points, 11. And then Monaco at home, 14. And then Sparta, 17 if we win away. You know, that, I think that's quite a realistic um, target for Inter to get to that magic 16 point. But let's see if it actually is 16. But yeah, you guys let me know, quick reaction, as I said, haven't watched it properly, not in depth and I haven't even got to preview the Atalanta game for tomorrow, but I'll get home from work and try to do that, or maybe I'll do it tomorrow morning, so keep a look on the channel, but yeah, I want to know your thoughts and opinions on the group stage that has been drawn for Inter, some tasty matchups on the other side as well, I know Milan have to play uh, Liverpool and I think they have to also play Real Madrid, but... Yeah, I'll look at it properly when I get home. But you guys let me know down in the comments down below which games are you looking forward to, which other teams as games are you looking forward to. Do you like this new format? Let me know. Leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Ciao ragazzi. Forza Inter, let's go!